Oh, oh shit, okay. Hi everyone, I am back. It is Saturday, um, and today I'm gonna be running some errands. I have quite some things to do today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me um, on my journey and my time just trying to get adjusted. I'm also trying to get adjusted to <laughs> speaking to a camera because I feel very awkward. Let's drink cheap Corona while we're locked down till October I don't wanna jinx it now But hope you're still here when it's over You infect me with one touch But seeing that smile is enough Shit's contagious, call my bluff Like I won't stay here to be tough for you I'm ready to go whether or not I'm exposed I'm disinfecting my clothes Can't get your scent out my nose And it's kinda hard to say If things will turn out okay But you got me lovesick I might just have Yeah, I'm just scrolling through Pinterest right now and trying to find inspiration I'm trying to make this room brighter because the people here they're so nice they gave me so much furniture more than they had to they didn't have to do any of this but i want to make my room more colorful and vibrant um so i'm trying to change the color palette and everything mm -hmm. so <laughs> flowers that I bought myself I look so bad, you know what? 
Okay, so I'm on my floor right now. I'm about to do a bit of makeup just to energize myself. Um, before I do this internship. Anyway, so you're also gonna have to get used to my rollers. Um, she's gonna make an appearance many times. So this is the first official week that I've been in this room and it's my first ever room that I've ever had to myself and I didn't realize that I'd never had my own room until I thought about it and when I was moving or actually when I was searching for a place to move I realized that never in my 20 years of life have I had a room to myself so it was it's really great <laughs> to finally have my own space um, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm currently staying in Manhattan, which is insane because I never thought I'd ever be able to stay in Manhattan. Girl, let me, let me move you, girl. <laughs> let me, you gotta make sure. I've never lived in Manhattan before. I just always lived in Brooklyn, primarily Bushwick. So this was a new experience for me to be in the city and it's actually not that bad because where I'm staying is pretty residential and I'm not, I'm kind of further away from all of the stuff, all of the busyness. And so it's, it's fine. Like I'm very surprised at how peaceful it's been and I'm just getting used to the neighborhood honestly that's what I've been doing so um last summer I worked my ass off I did not go out at all I think I only went outside a total of three times so the fact that my summer is the complete opposite and I'm able to first of all relax and not have to worry about money too much because of unemployment it's just, it's so weird. And I've been going out, I've been enjoying, you know, and social distancing, I've been doing it safely. It's not like I'm doing it irresponsibly, but I'm just taking, you know, the time while we're all in quarantine, quarantining, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. I've just been um, trying to enjoy my time. Like there's no going back to normal after this. My job, I have two jobs and they both called me in to start working soon and I don't know how I feel. I obviously know I need to work and I don't mind going back to work even though I am hesitant to work a lot just because I don't need to work a lot right now. So I'm not, obviously I'm not going to if I have that option. And then also I've just been realizing a lot of things and I'm gonna probably make a video about it soon, but essentially I just realized that capitalism is a scam. If I could voluntarily opt out of society, I would at this point, because the way I was a slave to capitalism, it was insane. But now I'm realizing that I need to prioritize myself and I've been doing lots of reflecting. And one of the things I learned and realized that I just can't. <laughs> I just can't do society um but unfortunately I have to participate so I just want to be able to do what it is that I came here to do which was to be a writer um I go to J school journalism school um and I also want to make more videos I want to just do whatever it is that I want to do um and i don't want to be held back and not do those things because of money problems or because i have to work like i just essentially i just don't want to work how i used to work it was not healthy for me i was losing my mind um it put me in a very bad place mentally physically i was my health was deteriorating did did deteriorate deteriorate de deteriorating sorry guys i can't speak for the life of me <laughs> um so now i'm realizing that to put myself first and i think that's what a lot of people are realizing they're realizing that um a lot of our systems are failing us and so in the midst of this you know people 
for the first time are slowing down and they're looking and recognizing that there's so much more to life than this. That's basically what I learned. I just been realizing things and prioritizing what it is that I want to do. And rather than working harder, I'm just trying to work smarter. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm going to take this roller out and I'm going to get ready because I think I have to start my internship very soon. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So sorry I haven't talked to you guys in quite a long time. Um, it's currently Saturday, so it's been about two or three days since I last filmed. I've just been doing some internship stuff and then I binge watched the entire season to Itaewon class on Netflix, which was so good. It was, I haven't watched a K-drama in probably, I don't know, it's been quite some time. And <laughs> I think that drama was probably one of the best dramas I've ever seen. It was just so addictive and I haven't watched a show like that in quite some time. So I am getting ready, as you can see by my rollers, I'm getting ready and I'm just going to go to the park and just enjoy this beautiful Saturday. It is so nice outside and I'm going to get something to eat, pick up some groceries and then come back home. But I'm going to show you guys, um, I picked up my package and I finally received my comforter. So I'm going to show you guys my new comforter. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me, but I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.